Gulen-inspired volunteers from Turkey bring Turkey's language and culture with them. In Houston, they sponsor a Turkish Olympiad where American students compete in Turkish dance and song. The winners compete in an annual competition in Ankara, Turkey. There are more than 1,000 Gulen-inspired schools and universities in over 100 countries. Gulen has always emphasized education, and that really lies at the core of this, of this movement. To be a good Muslim meant to be well-educated, and to be, to be a good Muslim who participated in modernity meant to be conversant and, and well-educated in science, math, and technology. Education helps you overcome ignorance, poverty, corruption, hate, extremism, racism, whatever, all the illnesses of the society. Because of that, education is very important. I need another number, a big number. In Texas, there are 33 nationally recognized public charter schools with over 16,000 students, grades K through 12. They're called Harmony Schools, and the Turkey superintendent insists they are strictly secular and in no way connected to Gulen. Professor Ebos says there's a reason for this kind of sensitivity. I think a lot of that is related to the Islamophobia that exists in this country. I think there's a lot of fear, you know, that Islam is trying to take hold of this country and countries around the world that it's trying to, to spread itself. About 60% of the kids in the Texas Harmony Schools come from disadvantaged neighborhoods. The schools say they have a 100% graduation rate. No wonder there are 21,000 kids on the waiting list. I think the Harmony Schools are an outstanding example of what uh, the Gulen followers have been able to accomplish, and particularly with respect to education. The three high schools that had graduating seniors this year, only three students had not already been admitted to a four-year college by the time of graduation. I know teachers who stay up here for seven, you know, seven o'clock at night, eight o'clock at night, um, who are also working at night from home. They know our expectations for them. Through kindergarten all the way to the high school, they know, hey, this is a college school. This is our, our goal is to get you into college. I have never worked harder, um, but it's, I mean, you really see the results because the parents are very involved, the kids really respond. Gulen, not only he urges teachers to go and uh, work at these schools. On the other hand, he urges people from all walks of life to go and support all these schools. Build up schools instead of mosques. Build up universities instead of mosques. Build up cultural centers, interfaith organizations, aid organizations, hospitals instead of mosques. Supporters say Golan owns nothing himself, but has persuaded others to give generously to many independent organizations.